Oh, this is Amen to the Voice of Reason, and I'm coming at you today, and I'm now officially, as of now, launching my Justice for Trudell campaign. Um, the, the photograph you're about to see multiple times throughout this video is now me officially trying to, uh, trying to put the word out there and spread the word on Facebook, Twitter, and now YouTube, um, a campaign called Justice for Tr Trudell. And the picture will say, find the one who started the fire on the Duck Valley Reservation back in 1979. Yes, back in 1979, John Trudell's wife, um, Tina, and his three children and his mother-in-law were burned alive in a fire. Um, John Trudell had his own private arson investigator look over the wreck after, um, after it happened. And him and the FBI and the FBI's um, investigate both their arson investigators came to one realization the fire was set on purpose which means that was about that was a really horrible fucked up case of arson that happened um, I would challenge anybody who sees this video to, um, to do to make a YouTube video of their own if you want to that's fine but this video itself I'm officially gonna be calling out three different youtubers who I would love to see make a bit make a make their own Justice for Trudell um, um, videos, and to take the photograph. And, and this is what happens when you make a video in public. You got to put up that. Anyway, um, I'm now officially calling out in a positive way, not in a mean way, in a positive way, from one YouTuber to another. Show some love and support, and help us get the son of a bitch who did this. I'm now officially calling out uh, Premink. To, do, to sit there and to make a, a Justice for, for Trudell video. To post the photograph, to explain to um, pretty much the purpose of it, so that one day we can meet our ultimate goal to force Congress and the, the U.S. Senate to, um, um, to have either Robert Mueller or somebody open up, reopen the investigation, and let's track down the scumbag who, uh, who burned that building um, at, on the Duck Valley Reservation and killed John Trudell's wife and his three children and his mother-in-law. He still has, he still has, he went, he went on and had more children uh, throughout his life. Uh, I mean, and he spent um, many decades being, and being, and being a figurehead and being, um, being a voice of reason for the Native American people. And he was a wonderful guy. And if he pulled another Shai Guevara, that would have been well justified, but he didn't do that. He went in the opposite direction. In fact, if he did that, that would have been, you know, perfectly understandable and you know it's he would have been well justified in his actions but he didn't do that he retaliated with love and compassion and he became a poet spiritualist actor and musician um Activate. Uh, it became. He. Um, he also helped to be. He was a person directly responsible for um, cancer and AIDS patients way back in the early 90s to legally being able to smoke marijuana because they were terminally ill. Um, and over time, turns out people who smoked um, pot while they cancer um, lived. Thousands of people. That man saved thousands of lives doing what he did. Yet, um, throughout his lifetime, he never got justice for his family getting killed in that fire. And you know, I pers it would be nice if somebody other than Chris, than Chris Christopherson, who wrote the song Johnny Lobo. By the way, that song kicks ass. Um, it would be the one speaking out against it. I'm officially launching my Justice for Trudell campaign. So, Premink, I am challenging you to make your own video, and I'll be doing two other YouTube videos challenging two other YouTubers. I just haven't chosen who they are yet. My first one though is Premink. Um, show the love. Please spread the word and get and get it out there. Let's force Congress to do something once and for all. Help this go viral. Anywho, um, this is a member of the voice of reason. Aho.